Hi everybody, it is Sunday, January 15th. Uh, this has been the most frustrating weekend I have spent in a long, long time. Uh, the, the band got back here uh, to New York and then we uh, went to uh, New Jersey and did our, uh, our show in Red Bank and then we had a day off and uh, then we were going to be in Connecticut and then tonight at the Iridium here in, in New York. Uh, and illness struck the band and we've been in a holding pattern hoping things would improve, uh, but they haven't uh, enough to go do, a, do the show. So we had to cancel the, the second two shows, which is just exasperating. I mean, this is what we live to do. And the idea of being back here and, and having not being able to do them is really, uh, it's so frustrating. But uh, so we're going to fly home tomorrow and uh, hopefully uh, all of the crap that we're dealing with right now. I'm fine. I'm not going to get into the particulars of what's going on, but it just sucks. And uh, there were some, and, and the shows were sold out, you know, and now they're postponed, you know, until we can come back. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's. I mean, it's the way things are nowadays. You, you know, you just never know what's going to happen out here. But uh, this one came back to bite us all in the ass, and I'm very uh, sad about the whole situation. Sitting here, re poised and ready, ready to rock, and uh, and we can't, we can't. So uh, I've got things I'm going to just take care of here uh, today and do. But uh, uh, really, uh, deeply frustrated by this whole situation. So, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna present a little more music here. And I'm gonna get into that because that that there's nothing nothing can stop me at this point. Um, oh, and it was great last night. Uh, Judith Owen is in New York. She's playing, and uh, she's got her large band uh, from New Orleans with her, uh, and um, we all got together last night and had dinner. And it was really great to see her. We haven't seen each other in, in since, uh, it's probably been about three months since I, I last saw her. Uh, so it was really great just to sit at dinner and tell stories and hang out and everything. And uh, they're doing a, a showcase this afternoon, or, or probably pretty soon probably. And then they have a gig uh, late tonight here, I think about 10.30 or something like that. Uh, we'll see what happens later. But um, so it was really great just to spend a little time with her and catch up. You know, I just, just adore her. She's one of the most talented, gifted people I've ever worked with. And, you know, being in her orbit is pretty cool. So, um, but I'm going to go and visit a, another fabulous female artist that I, I, I talked about her and played a couple of tracks of hers back on video number I checked this time it was number 386 so it was quite a few back uh, but it's the, a, a, an artist down in Texas named Jennifer Perryman and this was a one of these projects that comes along where the uh, engineer producer on this called me and he said look I've done this album uh, we did it with like, like program bass and program drums and we just decided we really wanted to have real stuff on it so can you come in and replace all of the bass parts on it. You know, put your spin on on, on the album. They had just uh, redone the drums uh, with a real drummer. I don't know who the drummer was on this, um, but uh, but when I got there and I heard it, and then I I, I checked her out because she was she wasn't able to be there. She was down in Texas, so it was just me and the uh, engineer sitting there doing these things just listening to the songs and, and kind of gleaning some of the essence of the synth part and then me making it mine on it. I think all of these songs I used Frankenstein on. and um, But she's really good. She's a gifted pianist, a really great keyboard player, and I love her voice. You know, she's soulful and funky. Um, it's got flavors of, of jazz and, and pop and, and um, R&B, all kinds of stuff going on in what she does. And, uh, and she's still active down there. And apparently she went to North Texas where Brad from Lyle's band 
uh, is the head of uh, he's the head of the saxophone department at North Texas, and uh, so it's all these funny connections. But Jennifer's really great, so I thought I'd do a couple songs from a couple more songs from this album, and it was a self-titled album called Jennifer Perryman and stuff. But this was a really cool project when I heard it. I just thought oh, this would be really fun. So let me uh, here's a song called Heart So Cold, and uh, just check her out. So cold Man, she, she just grooves deep. <laughs> she just grooves deep. Um, here's one called uh, Show How You Feel. This is really good. Me. 
gotta show, baby. You gotta show, baby. challenge when you're in there and there's you're not with anybody and you're just kind of listening to the song and responding and coming up with parts and stuff it's always an adventure i'll say that um i'll do one more here this one is called good for me and this one she really or they they had me just really kind of create the whole bed for this one I really, this was fun, a little effect on the bass and everything. On the last one, it was Frankenstein, and I put a little, um, some little foam blocks in it just to get the bass a little more dead on it, get that more of a flat wound sound. And this one's got a little effect on it. Woman, like a river that I'm leading to my soul. Your eyes are like a river that I'm leading to my soul. Oh, this is, I'll do that one. Yeah. 
I'll do one more here. This is the one I thought I was talking about with this is just basically her and myself with some effect on the bass on this one called Dear One. Mother, he 
stuff. Um, so that's Jennifer Perryman. I can't remember when we did this one. It's got it's been probably 20 years ago. But um, look, if she's still active on the music scene, still performing, still recording, so, which is great. And uh, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to work on I guess I'm just going to see her work on Lyle stuff for, for a while and uh, just sort of lament the fact that I'm in New York City to play and I'm not playing because of illness here. Ah, so frustrating. We are living in frustrating times, you know, that's for sure. So so I'm going to wish everybody a great rest of the weekend. Have a, have a good one. And um, I will uh, be back tomorrow. And uh, we're heading out of here and got a, like a midday flight back home to L.A. So uh, see if I get something going there. But I was hoping to do a couple of more uh, venue visits here, but unable to since we never got to visit the venues. So, okay. Take good care. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.